Hello and welcome to your 19th C++ lesson and this is on multi-dimensional arrays. So first of all let's just create our simple program. Oops. My stream names with standard int main and then in fact I'm not gonna use system pause in this lesson just because I don't like system pause. So let's have that include and then use Get character, and we can return zero. So now, multi-dimensional arrays. So basically, what they are is they are think of them as tables, and you can have a different number of rows and a different number of columns. Because with single-dimensional arrays, which we did before, um, I, we just called them arrays. Is ones where you have to have one row, but you can have as many columns as you like. So, if we now create one, so we can, I'm going to make an array of integers. So we're just going to go int array, and then we do this time we do one open close square back uh, square bracket. That's for the rows. We're going to say we're not going to specify the number of rows, and then this is for the columns. So I'm going to say I want five columns in each row. So if we now go equals, we can open our first set of curly brackets. Now, inside these curly brackets, we're going to want another set, and this is going to be our first row. So it's going to have five in, so it's going to be 12, 2, 3, 4, 5. There you go, so that has five in, and then we do a comma next to this, and we go, okay, now this is our second row. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Okay, I'm going to change this. So we now have two rows, each of which have five columns. So what we can do is we can just call them now as we usually would with a normal array. So I can just go C out array, and then I can say I want the first row, because remember computers count from zero. So, 0 would be this one, and then I'm going to go 0 again. So, that's the first one, which is 12. If I said array 0, 0, that would be 12. If I said array 0, 1, that would be 55. If I said array 1, 0, that would be 99. If I said array 1, 1, that would be 82. I mean, I can go all the way to array 1, 4 which is going to be 33 and then obviously you're going to put a semicolon after this so that's multi-dimensional arrays, they're really simple uh, it's a lot easier than creating loads of different singular dimension arrays so uh, have a play around with them they're really good for this kind of thing, just storing lots of data and uh, have a nice day